Vamos. Espera, 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 que me pongan aquí, espera, espera, espera. Um, it's been quite a couple of days here on Martha's Vineyard. Yesterday at 3.45, uh, 48 people presented on the campus at Martha's Vineyard Community Services. And um, I was sitting in my office uh, preparing to conclude the day. And I see people with their luggage and backpacks and children and adults and families coming on our campus. So I went out to greet them and uh, learned that they were Venezuelan uh, refugees as they described themselves. And uh, none in the group were English speaking, so I secured a translator. Excuse me. They uh, thought they were coming from Texas to Boston, and um, and that tech from before Texas, it was about a two-month journey to get to the United States. And um, they were expecting to come to Martha's Vineyard Community Services. They were told that they would have a job, and they would have housing, and we had a program for them, basically, that they would have work and they would have housing. And so they had um, folders, each had a red folder, and um, in the folder was a brochure to community services. There was a map from the Martha's Vineyard Airport to community services, and that's how they found us. And so from that point forward, we, we just worked on connecting with all of our community partners to get them shelter for the night and get them some um, support to help them with their next steps. Um, finding housing for 48 people in a matter of a couple of hours was a huge challenge. Thankfully, we have wonderful community partners, including St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, that's where we are. Um, and so we called upon our partners, the school, the hospital, law enforcement, the sheriff, uh, basically made phone calls to everybody we knew that we thought we, who could help, our legislators, and together we put together this plan to get housing here. So it's a good temporary solution. It was really extremely disheartening. It was, um, you know, these um, these migrants who presented yesterday. Hi, one right behind you, <laughs> smiling at me. So, so, you know, long journey and um, and tired, very tired people. So the fact that they were in a way duped, it seems, they were told something that wasn't the case and traveled a long way to um, to be, you know, duped in a way um, was really, really kind of overwhelming. Yeah, kind of overwhelming and sad. Yeah. Possibly all the way through until tomorrow, so she might be looking for people to food on top of it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Yeah.